Morning, lads. Charles, how's things? I'm going away for the weekend. I'll be back. Where are you going? Away. I've got demons to battle. I'm leaving at five, so I'll see you on Sunday. Probably. Well, that seemed friendly. Yeah. Breakfast? Sounds good. Malcolm? You coming? Melville's? Ooh. Yeah. You look coming. No, Loomis and I are working on a device that will allow us to breach on the go. Plus, I don't even know if Ariel can actually eat food. I can, but I fancy it. Suit yourselves. We must just hold this, would you? It's a specialised piece of equipment that should... Wait, where did they go? I think the answer you're looking for is on the table. Nah, shit. What the actual hell? Where are we? We're on Oxford Street in London. The device sent us to London? It didn't work? No, no, it worked. It's London, all right, just not our London. We're on another Earth? Yeah. Do you have any idea which Earth? No, it's not one we've been to, I know. So, what now? We find some way to lay low. There's nothing else we can do. Hang on. Excuse me, could you show me a banknote? Pardon? It's just that my cousin over there bid me a drink that you Brits don't carry cash. <laughs> sure thing. Thanks. No worries. What was that all about? They have the same money as we do. Come on, let's go get something to eat. Hey, that's Baron Colin Stone. Who? Flamboyant Scottish novel. Philanthropist. A member of the Magic Circle. A magician. How did we not guess? I suppose this Earth must have him too. What's he doing here? When were you last in London? A few years ago. There was a big tech convention in the, the South Bank. I stayed in the Savoy. Lead the way. I thought you said you knew where we were going. Well, give me a break. It's been a while. Mm, let's get out of here. I'm not a fan of dark alleys. Give me your shit, man. Shit. What did you see? Look, we've not got anything. We're just tourists. Did you know hear what I said? Give me your stuff. Let them go. The hell? Who's there? I said, let them go. Get away. Put the gun down. Get away. Put it down. I said get away. You're the guy from earlier. I'm Pussy Oak. I'm Baronstein's bodyguard. What did you just do? I'll explain, but first, I need you to get in the car. Where would that car take us? Out of trouble. Where the hell did they go? To which earth? I did a two-week internship at Citadel Tech a few years ago. I'll look into the tech. See if we can figure out where they went. Oh, how, how, how likely is it that we're going to find them in all this shit? There's an infinite number of Earths. They could be at any one of them. Because Charles wouldn't forgive us if we lost them. Drink. Hey, go on. Do you guys want anything? Not unless you've got food. There are sandwiches in the fridge. Thanks. Where's the Baron? Asleep. He had at least two bottles of wine to himself tonight. So, who are you? As I said, my name's Percy Oak. Who are you guys? I'm Norman Hayes, that's Lumos Griffin, and that's Ariel. It's good to meet you. Can I ask, why did you help us? I heard you down the alley. I couldn't just leave you. I mean, how could I? How old are you? You don't look that old. 
23. You're still young. How did you end up in private security? My abilities. You saw them in the alley. They give me a slight advantage as a bodyguard. You have telepathy and telekinesis? Yeah, as I said, useful. I can see inside of mess with people's minds, and I can stop a bullet in midair. Makes people easier to protect. So, you're a superhero? Superheroes aren't real, and powered people are rare and scared of the powers that be. There's very few powered people in the world. I only know of one other guy, and he has... issues. But I try to use my abilities for good. Where we come from, superheroes is a sort of a big thing. And where exactly would that be? A different universe. How much have you had to drink? He's not joking. We're from a different Earth. We fell through a portal and ended up here. You seem shocked, pal. No. To the rational mind, nothing is inexplicable. Only unexplained. That's Tom Baker in The Robot of the Death, season 14 of Doctor Who. Do you guys have Doctor Who in your universe? Yeah. What's your favourite episode slash serial? Evil of the Daleks. But you've seen Evil of the Daleks? It was junked. Not in any universe. I'll have to lend it. Oi, nerds. Can we get back to the matter at hand? Yeah. Sorry. So, how did you end up here? I can answer that one. Norman and I created a device that would allow us to travel through universes on the go. It sort of went wrong and we ended up in a random universe. And you ended up sitting here eating pate sandwiches out of a posh magician's fridge. Yeah, that. And I assume you've got no way home. Bingo was his name all. So, where you guys come from? Are you superheroes? He died. Merged with his mate. Became a superhero. They then unmerged and he kept his powers. He's a team wizard. And I am a magical Irish spirit. Right. Lumos. Were you just showing off? No, that wasn't me. Uh, for God's sakes. In a house that's big. Shush. Oi, that's rude. No, seriously, shush. Listen. Somebody's in the house. Well, what the hell do we do? You're literally a superhero. Yes, but this is different. Lumos, calm down. What do you want about? I'm calm. Wait, get out of my head. Now you're calm. I need a favour. Can you properly kill the lights? Sure. It's done. I found the frequency. Which Earth? Earth 182. Anyways, fire up that breach. Let's go. Guys! Hey, how the hell did you guys get here? Sorry to break up the reunion, but I've got police on the way for the bloke chained a radiator and the eccentric billionaire hiding in the bathroom. Oh lads, this is a Percy Oak. He's a bodyguard and he has a telepathic and telekinetic abilities. A bit like the Jedi. So do you, uh, you guys have to be anywhere or can you stick around to help clean up? We've got team. Thank you for helping clean up, I appreciate it. What will happen to you now? Well, after we handed the maniac over to the police, I explained to the Baron that I wouldn't stay on now that we caught his guy. Have you got another job? Not yet. I'm looking though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, and before I forget, this is for you. <laughs> What's this? A copy of all the Doctor Who episodes missing on your air. Well, I know how I'm going to be spending my unemployment. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Not too long, hopefully. You're an interesting guy. Laters, guys. Anyone seen Charles recently? Nope. Not since before 182. Why? I'm worried about him. Oh, no.
Remove your shirts. This is custom. No one's being merciful. But if there was a chance, this would be your final moment for it. I'm not backing down a kill. I was 11 years old when I killed my first man. I remember the look on his face when the light went out behind his eyes. Such a sudden change, almost imperceptible between life and death, and I felt ashamed. I had stolen from that man the most precious gift of all, life. But I also felt something else, pride, because I had sought to take up arms against someone who sought to do ill against my family. I realized what I had done was necessary. You see, I had replaced evil with death, and that is what the League exists to do. And I have killed several more thousand men since, and the world is all the better place for it. You have taken your last life. You have lived your last day. Fight me, boy. You're unarmed. They'll take your blades from you once you are through with them. Don't be afraid, my son. Death comes for us all. We can only evade it for so long. Consider this an honorable exit. Forgive and have mercy on all. This is your home. And put a hand. Be going to relax, Jean. Je fous, gacha. Nith, noho. See it. See